you look like you might be considering moving to Lubbock, Texas, one of the fastest growing and friendliest cities in America. Today, we're digging into the pros and cons of what makes Lubbock so great and not so great. Let's do this. So we're gonna start with con number one, which is the weather. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You know, we live in Texas, so it's mostly hot. Round but is it also cold? It is also cold. Also, but yes. We're into. <laughs> so Lubbock is extremely flat and we've got a lot of wind. The wind is ruthless and relentless and it's all through the year. In the winter time when it's really cold, it is really freaking cold. It literally hurts to go outside. If you're not wrapped up and you go outside and it's windy, it will be painful. It will feel like someone's searing you with a cattle prod or something like that. I mean, it gets naughty. <laughs> Going off the wind, we've got a lot of dust here. Tons. Lubbock is extremely flat. We've got a lot of farmland, a lot of ranch land. Mm -hmm. And when there's no crops out there and the grass ain't green, it is dusty. You will be walking around outside and going like this and it feels like you're chewing on sandpaper because there's sometimes dust in your mouth. A non-humid climate, not a lot of moisture throughout the year, which is good, but you know, when it's windy. It's windy. Which also exacerbates the dust is con number two. Construction, we've got highways going in, we've got houses being built. What do we get when that happens? We get a lot of dust. More dust. Yes, <laughs> Lubbock is growing so exponentially. We're building a second highway. We have one called the Loop right now. We're building a second one. Also, we've got Texas Tech University here, which is the hub of Lubbock. It's in the very middle of the entire city. They're constantly beautifying it, constantly making the medians bigger or expanding the roads. So our infrastructure is actually keeping up with the amount of people we're going to have here in about 20 years, which is really good. However, they're expanding road and that sometimes makes your commute longer. Sometimes it can be a hassle to drive around there and it kicks up more dust. I mean, the construction's good and it's not like we have anything better to do here in Lubbock, which leads us to con number three, lack of activities. We have everything that a normal city would have. We've right. got a handful of movie theaters. We've got some bowling alleys. We've got some ice cream shops, but compared to a Dallas, a San Antonio, and Austin, we are not one of those. If you're a shopaholic, if you're a diva, prima donna, probably not the place for you. It's a running joke here that people used on a weekend used to watch the grass grow, you know, for fun. This is actually the hunting capital of the world for a certain bird. It's called the Sandhill Crane. It flies here in the winter and stays. So you can do stuff like that. We're going to hit a lot of things in this video. If there's something that you we didn't hit that you want to know more about, please feel free to give me a call. My number is right here. If you are thinking about moving here, give me a ring as well. So number one of pro is the cost of living. So if we're talking gas prices, when you're going to the grocery store, you're spending less. Living prices, that's whether you're renting or purchasing is gonna be lower than the national average and definitely lower than the Texas average. 17% cheaper than the national average. Right. That's a lot. Saving you money, what else can we save them? Time. The best thing about Lubbock, no traffic. No traffic. I'm from Dallas originally. In Dallas, we have absolute oogles of traffic. It is insane. <laughs> Here in Lubbock, we have zero. We talked about earlier that big loop that we have that goes all the way around mm -hmm. Lubbock, where you can get on the loop, get from one place in Lubbock to the next in about 15 minutes. That keeps everything flowing. When I go to Dallas, I'm sitting in traffic for 45 minutes to an hour. Wasting your life. My life is just withering away. But when I'm here, I'm getting boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Lubbock actually ranks 18th in terms of commute times. Yep. Pro numero trace. The finale. Pro number three is that Lubbock is a very community oriented. It is. So we've got Texas Tech University, which is responsible for much of the community interaction and involvement. That's right, folks. It's a very friendly city. People here, not only do they love Texas Tech, they love each other. Tech is a very central focused part of Lubbock, which is really good. It, it really brings the community together. Now we do have a lot of people that don't like Texas Tech here. They stick out like a sore thumb, but hey, we're still nice to them. Also, going along with the community aspect of it, it is definitely one of the most conservative places in the country. That's right. This could be a pro or con, depending on the person. If you, you know, favor conservative values, Lubbock is probably a great place for you. Yeah. If you don't, you're not going to be shunned or anything. Once again, go into the friendliness of the city. So if you guys have any interest whatsoever in moving here, give me a call. I know we talked about it at the beginning of the video. My number's right here. I will answer no matter what. So thank you guys so much for watching.